That's right, Jared Sierra. The new maps approved by all five Republicans and two Democrats on the commission are drawing opposition from groups who say politicians should not be the ones drawing the lines. This is um, probably the messiest, uh, most difficult um, action uh, that a quasi-legislative body has to take. Uh, I, I do commend this commission for showing if there are future commissions, a bipartisan way of how to get there. The newly adopted maps help both incumbent Republicans and Democrats keep their seats. And despite the maps being approved bipartisanly, people who are part of independent groups like Jen Miller from the League of Women Voters of Ohio say the map making process needs to change. Both parties, Republicans and Democrats, will rig maps for their favors. That at the end of the day, politicians are going to politician. People say, well, elected officials shouldn't do that. Unelected people should do that, and that is not representative democracy. That's not what our Constitution says. A group called Citizens Not Politicians has submitted a proposed constitutional amendment to the Attorney General's office three times. Their proposal would create a 15-member commission, five Republicans, five Democrats, and five independents to draw maps. All with one goal, to fairly draw districts that treat every voter equally and so that at the end of the day our representation is meaningful. I am very supportive of that. I think it's very difficult to be objective um, in the roles that we have and the work that we do. The proposal for the commission would not allow any current or former politicians or lobbyists to be part of the map making process. And Miller says the bipartisan approval of maps just further signals why the process needs to change. They are going to put their own short sighted interests in getting reelected before the rights of Ohio voters. It is impossible to take politics out of a political process and redistricting. Um, I, I think that the proposed constitutional amendment, as I've seen, would do more harm than good. By Monday, we'll know whether the Attorney General approves language for the Citizens Not Politicians Amendment. The, goal, the group's goal is to get it on ballots in November 2024. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.